UTEP Art Professor Emeritus Ray Parrish was recently reminded by a childhood friend that he was raised in the Deep South. He looked at me and he said, boy, you've done gone and got you one of them accents. <laughs> He grew up excelling at sports, but soon discovered a knack for art. I grew up in small town Mississippi, and there wasn't any art exposure. There were no art museums in the entire state of Mississippi. There were no art classes in the schools, but my grandmother was an artist. His career took him to teaching jobs at Ball State in Indiana and here at UTEP. I do have work uh, all over the world at this stage. After a successful career, he and his wife decided they wanted to give back. So they built the Borderland Art Residence. It's difficult being an artist in America today. Once you get your degree, then what? Walk the grounds where Ray lives and where he built the Borderland Art Residence, and you'll see construction-like materials not immediately associated with creating art. I really, again, like this piece behind me. It's, it's a lot of times for me, threat is an interesting uh, aspect to explore. There are several pieces, a couple of them in the sculpture garden. Art residents live and work in a loft space that Ray built. The current resident is in her last week. I wouldn't be able to create it if it wasn't for the board art residency. For now, this southern-born artist will keep the residency alive and keep his Mississippi sense of humor. I, I knew some, a couple of guys in Mississippi whose father named them after his hunting dogs and he said that, that the guys never lived up to the names. How do you live up to the name of a hunting dog? <laughs> I guess if it's a really good dog, it's a challenge. <laughs> That's perfect.